Yep, exactly what I imagined. We have iced coffee back in our videos, which means summer is here. What is here? What is here? Yeah, I feel like Dora the Explorer asking questions from the TV waiting for you to answer. I have been having black coffee only, but I saw this dark fantasy chocolate milk and I got it and I had only the chocolate milk yesterday. And all I could think about is how good that would be in my coffee. My stomach does not agree to dairy. And after having this, I am probably going to get acne, but I don't care because this tastes so delicious. Hey, you guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing very, very nice. And I'm sending a lot of hugs and positivity to all of you. Cuties, hi, if you're new welcome to the channel i really hope you enjoy the content and if you do please do consider subscribing today's video is a readathon for 24 hours today i'm going to stay up for 24 hours and all i am going to do is read my brother has gone to mumbai which means he's not going to be in the room for 24 hours we live in the same room which means i get to shoot at night also which is amazing that is why i decided to do an impromptu readathon my brain was telling me until plan everything plan the flow of the video plan which all books you're going to read plan when you're going to start when you're going to end but i have decided that i'm not going to do it because i also want to show you what mood reading is like i am a mood reader mood reading is basically what the name suggests you pick up books on the basis of your current mood what you desperately want to read right now and so i have not created any tbr for myself i have however ordered a book already the third book by emily henry which is people we meet on vacation i have two already and i will be getting happy place this month only so I'll have all of her four books. So yes, you guys, are you ready to see me up for 24 hours? I am so nervous right now. I swear to God, I feel like ditching everything and going to like bed. I have been staring at my bookshelf thinking which book I want to read. Honestly, the one book that I am desperate to read is this series, which I don't know which the first book is, but this series is the love story of the God of Death and the Goddess of Spring. That is all I know about it and that is enough for me to start reading it but it is a series and there is such a big chance that i read the first book and i want to read the further books and i don't want to read a series in this video but we do have that one option i can also start with something really small and really fast paced to get sort of like a win under the belt because if you want to read for 24 hours and it's like i want the motivation to read for 24 hours then i need to know that i'm reading a lot of books because these wins help we do have this also one night only this is a very short book oh but the text inside is too small no oh i know what we can read this book it's not that short it's 375 pages but just look on the inside it's the text is really big and it has a lot of spaces i can definitely read this and i have been wanting to read it since so so long it is probably going to be a sad book but i don't care i mean even if it is sad then i'll just be even more excited to read something fun later on and that is good motivation to continue to read all right we have chosen the book already it's exactly 3 1 right now should i include choosing the book in the 24 hours i don't know this is the first time i'm doing it after all but we are going to start a stopwatch right now i am going to be including the 10 minutes it took for me to choose the book later on though in the end and and there we go start oh. now this will end in 24 hours we have the first book already we have the coffee already let's go mm -hmm. is translated from Italian by Lucy Rand. Wow, this book is so beautifully written. I'm totally, totally immersed into it. It is definitely a beautiful first book. I am actually excited to read. One hour, one minute right now. It's going to be one hour, two minutes. I am done with around 80 pages of the phone box at the edge of the world. I am using this really pretty pink feather as the bookmark because it has like colors of pink. So I think it creates good contrast. But now I have to stop reading for some time because I have to shoot a video that is going to go live today i was actually supposed to shoot it yesterday but it was stormy and rainy over here in Ahmedabad, and so the lighting was not good and that's the reason i was not able to shoot so i'm gonna shoot today i also have to edit it only and upload it today and it will take away from my time of reading but it is what it is it is the teenager video if you haven't watched it go and watch it so i'm going to shoot now and i'll see you guys in some time just got done filming the video and i am so 
tired like i'm so tired oh it is now 502 which means it's been exactly two hours and even now i have only read 80 pages of the book because i was shooting the video right now i am going to be reading for like half an hour right now and then from 5 30 or 5 40 i will start edit editing the video It is 9.18 right now. I am done with 6 hours of 24 hours and I am on page number 239 of the first book. That means I haven't even finished one book in 6 hours. But the good news is the teenager video is up. The video that was supposed to go live today is live. I was like the most anxious person yesterday when it started like being sort of cloudy and rainy and I could not shoot that I don't want to miss out on the video today because I've been committing you guys since so long that the teenager video will be out and I was like oh my god what if it's not out but then I was like if I shoot it today then how I'm gonna do the readathon how am I gonna stay up the whole night how I'm gonna read so much blah 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 but the video is live and I am still doing this readathon and I am very up in energy right now it's also night time this is when things get real and once we are done with this book we are gonna choose the second book straight away I am so excited let's go let's power through the book by the way it's really sad it's like literally the saddest book of all times but at the same time it's not the kind of sadness where everything goes dark it's like a tunnel where it's really sad but you can see light at the end of the tunnel which is hope i'm done with book number one i have never read anything like this the feeling that i got when i saw the cover of the book when i was buying it is exactly the feeling that i got after reading it it's very different I feel very different right now. I just, I cannot put in words right now. But we are done with the first book. Yay! And now it's time to choose the second book. It's 10.56 right now. It's been almost 8 hours. 16 more hours to go. Honestly, I feel like taking some time and just like absorbing this book all within because it is a kind of a book that you want to just like sit with for some time. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose the second book. After that, I'm going to take a little bit of a break and then I'm going to start reading the second book. The second book has to be a very, very light book because that book was really heavy. I am again gravitating towards this. Let me just see if you can read as a standalone. It says that I can read A Touch of Darkness as a standalone and it, the cliffhanger is not very major. But there are some loose ends which will get fixed obviously further in the series. Which I don't mind honestly. The text also is big in this. Look at me finding all the reasons to justify reading this book. It's definitely a long book because it is 368 pages. Should I commit to a 368 pages book after I just just read a 375 pages book. We're gonna keep this as an option. I also really want to read Dance of Thieves but I know that this is no 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 the text is too small it's too thick. Okay I have no other option or maybe I'm not leaving any other option. I am going to start with a touch of darkness. I am telling you I have been waiting since ages to get to a point to read this book and now I'm just going to read it. Like who cares? I'll just read it. The book is interesting. It is reminding me of Lucifer and I am so imagining Lucifer only when I'm reading the book. Like it is Lucifer in my mind. I can't believe it's just been 10 hours. I have 14 more hours to go but oh my god am I excited and giggly right now. I love this book so much. It's taking my sleep away. Though I think if you look at me you can see some sort of tiredness on my face now. I have officially crossed the half line. It has been 12 hours and 27 minutes since I have been reading. I am on page number 203. I also really like the combination of this bookmark and this book. It just gives those godly feelings. Persephone who is the goddess of spring doesn't really have the powers of a goddess so she is masquerading as a mortal and then we have Hades who is the god of death who has this night club empire going on and people go over there and they bet for stuff and he takes their soul if they lose or he grants them their wish. Persephone by mistake gets into a contract with Hades and now Hades has told her she has to grow life in the underworld otherwise she also is going to lose her soul and so she has said yes to him so you get to see what happens after that. There are parts of this book where I am literally swooning like swooning. I have always wanted to read something like this. And it's pretty 
very interesting and I really like it but I am 200 pages into it now I don't know if it is the tiredness of me reading continuously like without a break at all or if the book is actually getting boring till now it is great but if something really really cool does not happen in the next couple of chapters I am beginning to get bored and if that that is like the worst thing that can happen to you when you're reading continuously it's 3 30 right now and I usually stay up almost every single day at this time most of the people on Instagram like bookstagram they get my messages at this time and it's honestly not something to be proud of the whole me reading for a long time is really straining my eyes at this point and I'm, I feel tired I do feel tired but at the same time I am just this is such an experience of a lifetime I am having time of my life this is almost like a dream dream come true that I get to read I only get to read for 24 hours I don't have to do anything else so yes you guys uh, I cannot believe I'm actually doing this I have always imagined this but I've, I never thought that I would actually be doing it 12 hours done 12 more hours to go let's go hours I do not look good 15 hours and I am done with this book what a ride oh my god I don't think that you can read this as a standalone I mean there are so many things that I know for a fact that will be solved in the first book I feel like this is foundation and the love story and like the beginning of Hades and Persephone and there's so much to come I could see so many things beginning and not ending at all I mean it's all just a start and you must know I did go for breakfast I was actually really hungry and I was really tired of looking at the book so I did go outside have some jilsa in my stomach and also take a ride and stuff and feel fresher and now I am done with two books but I don't know if you can see it in my eyes I am actually tired right now I am excited but I am tired I am also a little sleepy and I feel like my brain is registering the words a little slowly so now I'm thinking I should have some coffee you would think that I would have a lot of coffee today given that I had to stay up for so long but that's the thing with caffeine and me if I have a lot lot of caffeine then I crash really hard which is why I've had only one coffee and that also I had only two shots usually I have three shots of espresso and I have pulled through very nicely but right now if I only had to stay away do nothing else not be productive not shoot a YouTube video then I would not be having coffee but right now if I am going to start another book then I do need coffee so after getting done with these two books let's select the third book as eager I, as I am to read the uh, second part of this book I don't think that I want to read it like this I think I want to take my time and understand the other two books because I don't think that that is only going to be about Hades and Pros not Prosper Pero what was her name yeah my brain has stopped working Persephone now the next book uh, I'm in no mood right now <laughs> I'm in the mood to sleep this right here is like my TBS shelf I have not read the books in this shelf no I can't read this right now hey what about this it's too big Nope, 400 pages. Convenience store is really small. I don't feel like reading it. <gasps> How do I have nothing to read? What about this? <laughs> Look at that text. Yeah, right. I'm going to read that after not sleeping. <laughs> I'm tired. I don't have a book to read. I also cannot read audiobooks. That is one of the rules. Otherwise, we would not be having this problem. This is what happens when you read 15 books a month. All these books I buy and at the end of the day, do I have stuff to read? No. You know what I can do? I have the Heartstopper series and I can read one of those books. And that is like a graphic novel. That won't take time for me to read it. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I just finished reading two books. So I am actually going to read the first part of Heartstopper. I will have started two series. I will get a break from reading words. I can wait for the sunlight to come out more because that really helps me to feel awake. And I will have read one more book, which means three books. And that will be good motivation for me yes that is the best plan ever i am reading heartstopper first part now but don't get me wrong we're gonna have coffee first i think i'm gonna read heartstopper while having coffee that is so brilliant i came up with such a brilliant plan i'm sleepy i'm actually sleepy i mean this was such a piece of cake till now but now i'm sleepy i'm sleepy <laughs>
early in the morning that took me like 30 minutes to read an Akira video I'm crying oh my god what was that Bye. I am so tempted to read the other two books that I have that was adorable my heart is so filled right now but it ended on such a cliffhanger I really want to read the next book that was insane though oh my that's I read really good books but that was an experience in itself i feel so what if i sleep like this what if like right now i fall asleep i have read three books shouldn't that be enough for 24 hours i don't know why i'm asking you at this point i'm hyper aware that i'm talking to a camera i'm just tired i'm really tired and there's no way that my tiredness is gonna go i think i should choose another book one more book 16 and a half hours are gone eight and a half hours to go yeah great fall asleep on camera come on you're just gonna choose one more book i am not gonna challenge myself anymore with the numbers i couldn't care less about the numbers at this point you're gonna choose one more book if i do get people we meet on vacation early today then i'm gonna switch to that book if i feel like whatever it is that's the whole point of mood reading now i'm getting angry that i don't even know what i'm just frustrated because i need sleep so let's go I have successfully created the illusion of a new day and now I feel all fresh and nice as if I'm starting a whole new day. I am halfway through the first book of this book and I have already decided that I'm not going to read the second book. The first book, The Secret Diary of Adrian Mole, is The Secret Diary of Adrian Mole. It is basically diary entries of this 13 year old and he's going through a lot of shit and you get to see his perspective of all of the things happening, his perspective of his parents and can I just say it is utterly hilarious oh my god and i'm having a lot of fun reading it it is a very light read even though a lot of shit is happening reading a few entries every day is going to be so much fun i can already imagine it we have around three more hours to go and we have less than 100 pages to go for this book to finish but because this is not going to be my fifth book we will have to choose the fifth book honestly i'm inclining towards heartstopper i think i'm going to finish the series and instead of counting it as oh three books I will count it as one book because I, I feel a little bad about counting such an easy to read book as one full book but even that way I will have read like four books which includes one full series and I think that is a great accomplishment look at me just like patting myself only on the back one book of mine is on the way I really hope it comes before I finish the Heartstopper series because then I will attempt to read that book as the final book in this video you see how my ambitions have grown it's all the power of a morning routine even if you have not woken up done with this one it is 12 59 i have two more hours to go and i'm starting the heartstopper series part two and part three three hours and 26 minutes adding the 10 to 15 minutes that i wanted to add yesterday it's 23 hours 45 minutes and i can't start a book now because i only have 15 minutes so we are done with the readathon i think it was a success just saying these are all the books that i have read in the past 24 hours along with doing certain other things because i could not avoid them but these are the books that i have read let me give you a small review and wrap it up for you first up we have the phone box at the age of the world by laura mi messina this book is based on a true story rooted from japan but it is translated from italian to english this is the story of the phone box at the age of the world where people go and talk to the people that they have lost so they basically talk to dead people but it is not sci-fi and it is not something crazy you don't get to hear their voice back and they're not actually going to talk back to you so it's more about the concept and more about what the phone box represents i am fumbling now this book literally left me empty and it really hit me it hit me very very hard the whole process of dealing with loss and grief and how you move on and what all of that looks like the bright side the dark 
outside everything the hope of all of it it's all so beautifully written it's insane so i definitely love this book though it did leave me empty i did not realize it then but i it was i i felt really empty that's the only word i have after reading that very intense emptying book i read a touch of darkness by scarlet saint Clair, which is the story of hades and persephone this one is more of a love story and i enjoyed it thoroughly though i do think that i cannot rate the entire series on the basis of this book and i don't think that you can read it as a standalone i mean yes you may enjoy the love story part of it but i think there's so much more that will be covered in the next two to three books two i already have one is going to be out soon and if there is no development then i have doubts about this book then i have not enjoyed it as much as i have enjoyed it because then it just misses a lot of things you see the cover and you think oh this is how i will feel when i read the book and that is exactly how you feel darkness with a tinge of light in it while i was halfway through this book i realized how empty i had felt with the first book after that i moved on to heartstopper part one it is a graphic novel so it is very easy to read i thought of counting this as one book but it literally took me like 20 minutes to finish this book and so i'm counting all three books as one book however my heart i was i did not expect to cry in the morning a very simple story boy meets boy boys become friends boys fall in love best way to define it it says coming to netflix so is it already out on netflix or not i have to see because if it is out then i am watching it tonight itself tonight i have to edit i'll watch it tomorrow itself after that i thought that i want to move on to a proper book and so i picked up on the secret diary and growing pains of adrian mole aged 13 1 by no 3 by 4 by sue Towson. this has two books in it i have read, read one of them i have read the secret diary of adrian mole and this one was hilarious all of those diary entries of a teenager written by an adult there was this fine line in my head between being a teenager and being an adult there were some things which were so teenage but there were some things that you will only understand when you are an adult and i love 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 adrian mull and in the end just now i finished reading heartstopper 2 and heartstopper volume 3 things get even better in the next two books it's just growing my liking for this is growing i i feel out of this world all of these really difficult themes of mental health of a relationship of a friendship and so many other things all of those things have been represented in the most warm way i have never read it with such warm how did that happen i have only read one book by alice oseman that is radio silence and i have all of her books on my wish list already somehow i had this since so long and i was not reading it like what is wrong with me this is just proof that i I should dive deeper into the books that I already have and now I may have puffy eyes but I am all fulfilled I read a very weird combination of books but now it's done in the end I just want to praise myself a little over here I did not expect myself to pull through this I made two videos I made two videos in a span of 24 hours oh my god and i read one two three like six books if you count heartstopper as one book how did i do that i am too proud of myself right now i feel like gifting myself a book for this but in the end what do i think about this 24 hour readathon i think that you should definitely not do it and i do not advise you to read so much this is simply a challenge that i took once in a blue moon but will i apply the same strategy in my own life to like read more or something like that no not at all i am all almost on the cusp of a reading slump i'll come to know next week whether i am in one or not because i am not reading till tuesday for sure i just cannot get over how much i like the heartstopper series i mean my i just i can't but yes you guys this was it i really hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for staying with me in the journey if you have watched the full video i am going to go on the bed and not wake up till i don't know when because i can't even open my eyes right now so i'll see you guys very very soon in the next video Bye. This is a special occasion. I am done. I am done with the 24 hour readathon. Up the whole night and I have been reading the whole night, the whole day. I got two YouTube videos shot, six books or four books read and I am done with all of it. Now watch me get rid of the sunlight in the room, switch on the AC and get back up. I don't know when. Oh my God. I'm so proud of myself.